Hey Scorpios, hello, hello, I am back. <laughs> Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. So this is gonna be your late night reading, guys. I'm not sure what's gonna come out, so take only what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? If you are new, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Definitely hit the subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family, okay? All right, so this is going to be a channel message reading. Um, I know I did say I was going to go ahead and do October's reading, and I'm going to do that next for you guys. Um, so that's where that will actually be available on tomorrow, okay? All right, spirit angels and guys, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So this is going to be another living room edition. <laughs> Since I am relaxing on my couch area, so I was like, you know what? Let me continue with this. For the next few readings all right all right show me what i need to see for scorpio please protect my energy as i channel the messages from the universe let no weapon form against me shall prosper any demonic forces evil eye witchcraft anything that's not serving me of my highest good please return it back to cinder ten thousand fold so more to be amen and amen also guys don't forget that i do have the tarot reading special for 35 dollars. i have it updated on my website so you guys can always check out the link that's in my description box of the video for my tarot reading website. All readings are $35, which are general reading, and there's $35 for the love reading, okay? Make sure that you email me if you prefer to send me a cash app instead of going on the website, okay? But make sure that you include the zodiac sign of the person that you are in question for when it comes to your love readings, okay? So this special for $35 will be going on until the end of the month, so... From now, of course, until I actually started it last week, Wednesday or Thursday. So it'll go on until September the 30th. So you guys have some time, okay? All right. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. All right. So I've done a few shuffles. Let's wrap. All right. Look at that. Close one door before opening another. Well, that message speaks for itself, right? <laughs> Close one door before opening another. And then we have gratitude at the bottom of the deck. So possibly there may be a situation with some of you guys, right? <clears throat> you may be in a sticky situation where you're still dealing with one person or one situation you're trying to get out of that situation but before you can open this other door of abundance prosperity love you're going to have to complete a cycle first like you're going to have to really close out this door before walking into the other because you don't want to drag in any other like negativity pain hurt anything from something else this this can even be with a friendship or a job you know, or even a relationship before you move to the next phase, you have to say, okay, I said my goodbyes. I learned my lesson. And now I'm able to really start this new journey elsewhere without worrying about what's going to be said behind my back or what someone else is going to say like, oh, hey, wait a minute. Wait, what you mean? You know, where you going? You know, you don't want that embarrassment. So definitely close one door before opening another. Show your gratitude to the universe that you appreciate this closed door and that'll help you be able to open in and open up to the next phase and chapter in your life, okay? All right, babes, let's get into it. Tell me about close one door before opening another. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let me do one more good shuffle. All right, something told me to do another one. Okay. All right, so let's talk about it. Close one door before opening another. Show me what I need to see. I have so much energy, guys. I'm telling you, I might end up bringing you guys multiple messages tonight. <laughs> I feel good today. I don't have any pains. I don't want to jinx it, but I feel good. I really thank the universe for allowing me to be in this good space right now. All right, so tell me about close one door before opening another. Ooh, too many, Spirit, too many. Close one door before opening another. Mm-mm, too many. 
Okay, what's this? All right, so we have the Five of Cups in the reverse. Hold on, let me make sure you guys can see a little bit more. Hang on, I want you guys to be able to see everything that I'm doing. Okay. All right, so we have the Five of Cups in the reverse. So tell me more. Close one door before opening another. Spirit, angels, and guys. I feel like this door that you are closing, whether this is a relationship, a family tie, friendship, job situation, you're in the energy of, okay, it is what it is. I accepted that this didn't work. I'm no longer going to cry over spilt milk. I'm ready to, I'm ready for this next adventure in my life, you know? And there may be some of you that may be in some type of guilt, remorse, and regret that you have to close this door, you know? Tell me more. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the King of Swords. Hmm. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have the Moon in the reverse. Pisces energy as well as the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Yes, this is definitely a breakup here. Two of Cups in reverse. This is someone from your past that possibly... Some of you guys are needing to still close that door. It may be a little crack there. Because the thing is, things are turning around for you. But for some reason, this breakup could have been caused by someone making some silly decisions, being disrespectful, missing an opportunity to have you in their life. So this chapter had to close. But whatever, for some reason, something could have been revealed to you. And this may have pushed you to do some type of change to go ahead and close that door. Decide to be single. But let's see. We're going to dive in. <clears throat> so let's go back to this Nine of Pentacles here and the King of Swords. So it seems like you're choosing to be single for the moment. You're choosing to just focus on yourself, your household, your businesses. You're in this energy of I'm, I'm ready to just glow up at this moment. I'm okay with being single. And I'm also okay with closing this door. I set the things for what they are. It is what it is. And now I just have to be more discerning about who and what I let in my energy. I have to have my sword up not to really cut anyone too deep, but just let them know that, listen, I'm not with the BS. You know, I have Archangel Michael on my side here. He's protecting me. He's shielded me. He's guided me on my righteous path. And if I need anything, I have him on my team, you know? You're getting to, kind of like what I was saying earlier, a lot of you guys are starting to use that law of discernment, being more honest and truthful with yourself, with people. It's like you're bringing that law and order faithfully into your life. You're thinking more than you're speaking. You're getting out of your emotions, detaching away from your emotions, and thinking more logically now. All right, tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is Five of Cups in the reverse when it comes to close one door before opening another? Show me what I need to see, spirit, angels, and guides. All right. Five of Cups in the reverse. Oh, boy. Look at there. We got the Empress in the reverse. Oh, boy. You had you... A mama's boy, a mama's girl, someone with mommy issues on the hand. Look at there. The moon is coming out again. You may have found out that this person is unhealed from their mother wounds, some type of childhood wounds here. I want you guys to be able to see everything. Hold on. Tell me so it could be something to do with the Pisces here. There may be a female that is just very childlike type of energy this is someone who doesn't know their value or worth and like i'm telling you like i feel you just feel like this man or this woman just wasn't it for you it's almost like they always asking you for things they're so codependent they need you for something it's like this is someone who's not independent they don't know how to take care of themselves this is someone who is not a divine feminine not a divine masculine and i feel like that has been pulled to the forefront for you the Wheel of Fortune is here again. Mm. I feel like once you found this out or when it was revealed to you, this changed the whole dynamic of this relationship. 
And now you're at this point like, so I've been taking care of a grown man, a grown woman all this time. Someone who never healed from their mommy issues. For my fellas, you may find out that this woman was really lazy. She was a wifey material. For my ladies, you find out that this man doesn't know how to tap into his feminine energy. The only feminine energy that he ever known possibly was toxic women, aunties, grandmas, mothers. Grew up around toxic women, so that's all he know is toxicity. And you've kind of accepted that and you may have realized that or that happened to be shown to you. This person could have been keeping this away from you. You know how some people can wear a mask? And as time went on, you started seeing like, wait a minute, you know, you want me to be your mama, honey. I, I'm trying to be your lady for my fellas. This lady wants you to be her daddy. When, you know, she already has daddy issues, mommy issues. You can't replace that. That changed the dynamic in the relationship. Mm hmm. Yep. Like I said, six of pentacles. You were basically taking care of a grown man, a grown woman. You were always supporting them, giving to them. They need money a place to stay. It's like you always were the person that was always given. But after a while, you're like this. I can't do this anymore. The Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. This got really, got really frustrated. It's almost like someone was just reckless with their energy. They didn't try to change. So you guys had to break up. You had to break up here. Yeah. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. So this is that door that you're closing with this Empress in the reverse, this karmic energy. But this person only brought you, you know, the universe brought this person in your life to just teach you a lesson on who to deal with, who not to deal with, what type of energy you need to stay away from. Because it's been shown to you that there are still some broken men and broken women out in this world. And I feel like that could have fixed your vision in a way. But at the end of the day, the wheel is still turning in your favor. So this is that door that's open. Something different, something new changes. This situation was destined to happen to help you move to the next level. So you're going from this to the Nine of Pentacles now. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Show me what I need to see. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles. Close one door before opening another. Show me what I need to see. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, thank you. All right, so we have two cards here. We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Hermit. Literally, I'm getting that you guys are about to get on your ball shit, male or female. So that's why it makes sense why it's closed one door before it opened. Get out of this shit first. Understand what's going on, what's being presented to you. Don't fight, don't argue, don't fuss. You just figure it out. Like, this person need some help and you can't help them so now that you accepted the fact that this is a karmic they have nothing to bring to me i'm always giving to them it's time for me to go and close this door now that i see now i can move accordingly now i can make some big changes in my life now this next door that you open is being single independent more wiser get into the bag you're able to get to this point in your life because you took the time to work on yourself Remember, this person came out in the reverse as the hermit, unhealed. You are coming out in the upright. You took the time to fix yourself, fix any past hood, past, I can't talk tonight, past childhood trauma. You went deep within. You started doing the shadow work. You asked questions. You did your research. You started going through the transitional phase. So because you went through this, you're not able to get this. So what's crazy to me from what I see here, all of this is single energy. The hermit is by himself. The hermit talks about someone being in solitude. Nine of Pentacles. This is a single woman or a single man here. What's crazy is that the Ten of Pentacles is here. So guess what? You're about to achieve all this shit by yourself. The Ten of Pentacles. Generational curses being broken. Stability. Security. Hmm. That one pentacle that you were missing, because it go from the nine to the 10. So of course, 10 minus nine is one. So that one pentacle is missing could have been just you doing the inner work. You didn't need this person. Looks like to me, you don't need no one else to fulfill your legacy. You doing it on your own because you went, went within. Yep, look at there, bottom of the deck. You manifested this. 
You took your power back from this situation and now you use, and this was so smart of you, Scorpio, you use all of the tools and resources that you have accumulated to bring you this wealth, this abundance, this prosperity, all because you did the work, you did your research. You did everything you needed to do to move from the nine to the 10. So basically you graduated, you stepped up, took your power back. The infinity symbol on the top, what goes around comes around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had someone that was a Jezebel, a low vibrational energy, a karma in your life that you decided, you know what? I'm not gonna let this shit hold me down. I'm gonna heal from this and keep moving. This person was a disappointment to me anyway, but it's okay, it's cool. You know, I feel for the okie doke. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. But now that I know with that moon card, now I'm going to move accordingly. Mm hmm You're going to move accordingly. You may have Virgo within your chart. This person you were dealing with could be a Libra or a Taurus here. Wow. Yeah, close that door. And now when you open that other door, that golden door, <laughs> This person going to wish they never left you alone. They're going to wish they was never a karmic because you're about to come into abundance, prosperity all by yourself. All by yourself. Give me one more for the nine of pentacles. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? We got the star card in the reverse. Mm. During this time that you're trying to elevate, you may have moments where you may be doubting the universe, doubting your ability, doubting your manifestations. You may not feel like you are that girl, that guy. It's almost like some type of despair is coming over you. Page of Cups. Oh, I see where this is coming from. So there's a this is this Debbie Downer here. Now that you're going up, there's someone who's trying to come into your energy to keep you negative, not make you think that this can happen for you. This is someone who wants to come in and apologize because they realize they fucked up the bag. They missed the blessing, which was you. All because they brought all the drama, this chaos into your life. Their life is falling apart now, so they want yours to fall apart too. They don't want you to level up. But see, you're getting ready to open another door. You're closing the one with this motherfucker here. Now they're dragging their feet to come towards you. It's like now, it's like, okay, now that Scorpio's moving on, they're getting to the bag. I feel fucked up, so I want them to feel fucked up too. I ain't there yet. How the hell they get ahead of me? Because see, the thing is, you're blocking this person out. Because when they had the chance to do right by you, they didn't. Mm -hmm. Now they don't want the cycle to be over. They don't want it to be over. They feel like you guys have got unfinished business. So yeah. This is someone who wants to keep you down because they're down, because they don't know their value, they don't know their worth, they don't understand the assignment. And because you're moving on to another chapter in your life, they don't want to see you grow. They don't want to, they don't want you to feel like you that shit, you that girl, when really you are, you know? What's the king of swords? Show me what I need to see. So this person can be an Aquarius, Taurus, or Libra here. Well, they have these aspects in their chart, okay? What is the King of Swords? Show me what I need to see. Mm, yeah, people don't like to see you glow up now. They don't. They want to keep you sad and blue because that's their energy. Oh, no, that's too many cards. Too many. Tell me about the King of Swords when it comes to close one door before opening another. There you go. Scorpio's in the building. The death card here. You're not about to play with this person. It's over with. I've cut you off for a reason. I'm healing. I'm transforming. I'm going through a whole nother dimension. Sweetheart, I am an earth angel. I know who I am. I know my position in the universe. I have been given these wings. I also have an angel that's here to help me balance out my energy after I went through this death and a rebirth. That's why I went through that King of Swords energy to cut you out because you was not serving me on my highest good. Mm -mm. You, didn't take an you didn't take advantage of me when you had it. Not so much take advantage, but take advantage of the blessing. You were, you were mad disrespectful. Talking to me any kind of way. And little do you know behind the scenes, I was the chosen one the whole time. The Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy. They didn't know you had the golden ticket the whole time. 
They fucked it up. And now they don't want it to be over, but they know that they disappointed you, lied to you, cheated on you. That's weird. They stalking and watching you, dragging their feet to come towards you. Mm-hmm. Wanting to heal things, but they moving slow because they know they messed up. Mm-mm. You put it into it. Like, no, no more. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready for something different. I'm ready to take a new adventure in my life right now. Yeah. All right. So what's the final messages for King of Swords? Oh, God. Yeah, you did that shit. We're represented by the Tower and the Death card for a reason. We transform into so many different things at one time. You know? We go through different phases during our transformation. Because keep in mind, endings bring new beginnings. And that's that close one door before opening another. You use your discernment. I'm telling you, a lot of people are in their energy now. They're using the law of discernment. If you're not in a line with my higher self, if my higher self doesn't agree with you, if my ancestors doesn't agree with your energy around me, then baby, you got to go. Three of Pentacles. And we have, look at this nosy ass person stalking and watching you. This could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So it's like, now you set some boundaries. Now you're using the law of discernment. Now you are like, listen, I'm going to do what's best for me. I don't want to work things out with you. I'm putting an end to us working together as a team because also what I'm getting here is that since you cut them out, they have been stalking and watching you. You may have started gathering or working together with someone else, another team. Some of you guys could even be going to counseling. Ever since the situation ended, because you're in that energy of, I'm wanting to really close this door. I don't want to have nothing lingering on when I go to my next phase of my life. So I'm wanting to put this shit to rest. I'm wanting to put this to end. You know? Mm. Look at there. Queen of Swords. That... Low vibrational karma, someone who's gossiping. See, the thing is, you and this person's not even on the same level. So this person could be right here. Hold on. So this karma, this Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, see the thing is, see, you stayed in your high vibration as you were being very discerning. You was real with yourself that you needed to put this to the end. But here we go. We got an old negative Nancy, negative Nick here that's gossiping, talking shit behind your back, stalking and watching you on social media. This is a karma. All because you're not fucking with them anymore. You change, you glow up, you did the work, but they don't want to see you grow. They don't want you to get the light. Your light irritates their demons. But now that you put this to the end, now they're like gossiping behind the scenes, stalking and watching you, getting together with friends and family. Same person, not a sword. It's someone who lost the blessing. And now they're behind the scenes talking shit because they fucked up. You were not the one, ma'am or sir. This got to be an air sign here. This air sign do not want to see you move on. They made a bad decision. And now you guys are not together anymore. This was a false twin flame. This was a karmic. See, you're healing. You're healing. You're releasing the letting go of this baggage, this burdens that you have with this person. Now someone wants to come around and like, hey, Scorpio, I'm sorry. This is all they can bring you is a damn fish. I apologize for the relationship. You were my happily ever after. You were everything that I think of and wanted and dreamed. Yeah, they want to start over with you. Now they want to make things right. Now they want to reconcile. Now they feel like you're the biggest blessing they ever received from the universe. Now they want to fight for this now. But it may be a little too late. You got your back turned, but your cup closed. Like, baby, you don't get that no more. Now that I've grown up to the king of pentacles, male or female, now I'm on my shit. I'm getting into my bag. Now you want to talk about you want a new beginning? I bet you the fuck do. Nope, sorry. The doors of the church is closed. Mm-mm. You took too long, baby. So now I got to close. Remember I said about the world card. They feel as though you have unfinished business. So if you're ready to accept the new chapter that's coming towards you, Collective, this cycle got to close. But it seems to me this person is trying to keep it open because they don't want to lose you. But see, the thing is you block them because they're a liar. They're a cheater. They disappointed you. And on top of that, they're toxic. Mm. They chose their friends family, associates over you, so you had to go. You know? You wasn't giving this person any more attention anymore. That is over with. And you're freeing yourself from this situation. Yep, you let go. You let go of this karmic. 
They talk too fucking much is what I just heard. They talk too much. Gossip. Lie to you. So mysterious. Not keeping it real. Not even in a high vibrational energy. They're so low vibration and kept a bunch of drama just going on. Chaos. Confusion. All because they came in. Their goal was to manipulate you. But when they say that shit didn't work, you were smart enough. You got the hell on. You're trying to, the empire that you were trying to build with them, they wasn't even in the right type of energy to even build anything. So fuck it. You did it on your own. You did that shit. And now that you did it, they could be getting together with girlfriends, family, social media type of bullshit, kiki, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes. Yep, good news is coming your way. This new chapter is coming in. There's some good news that you guys are about to receive now that you blocked this person out of your life. You're choosing your own happiness here. Yeah, you accept the things for what they are. You've been wounded. You've been through too much. So now it's like, you've humiliated me long enough. I was embarrassed as shit for being in a relationship with you. But see, because I have a good heart, I gave you an opportunity. Now, I don't want to deal with that no more. I'm leveling up emotionally, mentally, spiritually. I'm going to follow my intuition to say that you are a karmic. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I don't want to deal with nobody who's cold-hearted, who's selfish, who don't know how to be a woman. Who don't know how to give in a relationship as a man. Someone who's not tapped into their feminine and masculine energies and know how to build, you know, balance this out. You're like a gold digger. You're nothing to me. I got to move on. I see right through the bullshit that you were trying to sell to me. It's very unclear. But it's okay. I figured it out, though. You wanted to keep this drama and the confusion going on. So I wouldn't see the real you. But at the end of the day, you have nothing to offer me. You're a child. Mommy issues, daddy issues. You, you're not even trying to educate yourself to be a better woman or better man. You have nothing to offer me. No. It is what it is. It is what it is at this point. You know? You don't want to see me shine, so you'd rather just talk shit behind my back because I cut you off. That's the perfect example of a karmic. A perfect example. Mm. Now you're stalking me. Now that I cut you off. I made a, a valid... An honorable decision for my personal space. I couldn't do this anymore. I had to dead this situation. You don't want to work things out. You're done with that. It's like, okay, I'll be cordial, but that's about it. But now it seems like this person is taking it to another level, honey. You, Scorpio, you're letting me go? Oh, I don't think so. I want to get my revenge. This is a kid. This is a child. You know? People are crazy. They want to keep you sad all because you're changing. You're growing up on so many levels. Because little do they know you had ancestors and archangels in the background fighting for you. They wasn't going to let you fall for the okie doke. The wheel is spinning in your favor. It's all going to work out in your favor because why? You did the work. You're this pre-empress. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right, Scorpio, so this is your late night reading. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. I think I'm going to make this my last video for tonight. I don't want to over overwhelm you guys, but I'm telling you, I'll be having so many things <laughs> that I can really do readings for back to back. But this is going to be my last reading for tonight. So I'm going to get with you guys on tomorrow. And um, actually, I'm going to wait for tomorrow and I'm going to... um do your October reading tomorrow, give you like an insight. That reading will only be like more of a prediction just to see what it is. And then of course, when October comes, I will do that reading. Okay. But of course, I'm going to be bringing you guys more readings this week. Okay. So I want to say good night to you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love, support. You guys are so sweet. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are like my sister and brothers that I never had. <laughs> but I love you guys. I thank you for all of your love and support. But keep in mind, if you're still interested in having um, your personal reading, keep in mind that special of $35 is until June. I'm about to say June. Damn. That <laughs> reading uh, special is until September the 30th. So I think that's next Saturday, next Sunday. Okay. So for any of you guys, take your time. You can always email me or go to the website. I have it updated on the website as well for that reading price. Okay. I love you guys. Good night. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. I'm going to get some rest and I hope you guys do too. Good night.